G'day. In today's video, I'm doing a bit of a teardown on a GTX 10, 1080 Ti, a Gigabyte model. And I'm not sure where the model number is actually on this one. It's one of the Triforce models, or the Trifan model. But let's get into it. So to begin with, I want to undo pretty much all the screws I can see along the back here. And from there, I can hopefully remove the cooler. Being that this one doesn't have a back plate on it, it should mean it should be a bit more simpler to get into, as opposed to some. I'm using a medium size Phillips head screwdriver here. Or medium in the realm of PC repair anyway. One, two, three, three screws here and four big ones over here. So what I'm wanting to do is just replace the thermal paste on here, potentially have a look at the thermal pads as well. I do have a couple of sizes of those. There we go. I'm curious how this is attached. We'll also assume that the front plate may be holding it on as well. Just give it a bit of a light pull. No, I'm going to take, continue taking out its screws. This here probably just holds on the RGB of the Gigabyte, but we'll find out in just a sec. Side, no. Are we clipped on, no. I'm not seeing many other ways that it's attached. Nor am I seeing any other screws really on the bottom here. So I'm going to assume that it's this thermal paste that is collected and hardened over time. Hopefully. Yep, that's lifting it. Need to disconnect. Let's drop the fan of the RGB, but we'll disconnect here. We do have, I'd say, some replaced thermal paste at some stage, which right now is looking fairly, fairly hideous. I'm going to ignore the thermal pads for a minute and just proceed to straight to the thermal paste. So what I'm going to use is some um, isopropyl alcohol here and I'll spray that onto some tissue paper and see how this goes. It's coming off relatively fresh. Granted, I do believe there is a bit too much here, especially when it overflows and goes onto the rest of the dye. favorite tools, toothbrush. Find that it's abrasive enough that it moves the thermal paste out of the way, or being mobile enough to not actually knock it off. what's going on down this corner over here. I 
Uh, there's one of my old friends. I'm just lightly dragging it, I'm not really digging, I'm just sliding it loosely. There we go, looking a bit healthier. Have some film paste up here. There we go. Look at how big that these particular dyes were, especially for this model. Just gone a bit over the board just to hopefully clean it up a little bit as well. Is it not really that necessary? Unplug here. I'll just move this out of the way for the second. And let's have a little bit of a little bit of a look at the cooler here. So I do want to take a film paste here. Which is of an unknown age. I find whenever I get any new power supply or any new second-hand graphics cards, it's always worthwhile giving them a clean, as you don't know their history. There we go. Now. Regarding measuring these thermal pads, don't know if this is going to work too well. Try and clamp it in there. So I'd say this one here. I put it down to 0 0.5 mils, or 5 mils, sorry. So it's now pinched it. Definitely need to zero this out. There we go. Start here. Try again. That screwed it out. So I'd say five mil for that pad. And I assume that these three here, one, two, three, are all going to be the same. This one here does look a bit thinner, fatter, thinner. And some very fat ones over here. So 
Let's zero it out again. There we go. Hold it up slightly. We think that this one here was about 1.5. So I've got some 0 0.06 mil or six millimeter little pad to go here. I'll just double check that. Zero, zero that out. Close. Now, where's my scissors? So, in theory, I should just be able to replicate that for all this. This should breathe a bit more life into this machine. Or at least lower the temps to get it going for another five years, being with the GPU shortages the way they are at the moment. This is probably what you're gonna to have to do. Time Fury. If you wanted to get really tricky, you could probably almost do the cutouts. I'm not going to quite go to that length. This can feel considerably more wet than the ones that are already on here. Which usually dry thermal pads isn't a good sign. Okay. Biggest concern is when I actually go to put the cooler back on that they don't just fall off. Do quite miss it, slightly miss it. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Next up, let's run over here, which as you can see has seen better days. up there. I should have one that's close to that. Nope. Let's say I'll just use some more of this one. Get it relatively close.
Sure. Do note, do note, I haven't actually done any before measurements on this. This one I just recently purchased and decided to just get it stuck into it straight away. Three point three I've got on there. Which I don't think I've got anything that small, so I don't believe I'll change this one out. But that one was damaged. This fat one over here. What are we? So these two over here are that. Now I best see if I've got anything close. Not quite. No, got nothing that close. So I guess that one will return. So I'll just leave it at that. We have one, two, three, four being replaced. This one I don't think I've got anything thin enough to go there. I think it was rather thin. I'll just double check what I've got around on my bench just here. Zero point nine eleven. Now I've got the original one that I tried before. Clear back on zero point six. So now everything else I've got here is too fat, so I'll just leave it at that for now. Did give it a bit of a dust blowout before as well. Just use some Arctic Silver 5 on here. Hopefully not at the same level it previously had. So as I'm going around, I'm just using the syringe to help smear it. I should be pretty happy with that. Next up, let's re reattach everything. Okay, so we'll need to give it a bit more of a clean. So I will be using, I will be using some probably this WD-40 kind of material or spray, and that should clean that up reasonably well. Next up, let's reattach our RGB. Yeah. And then I can flip it over reattach the fan, which funnily enough, there does seem to be about three different fan headers over there. Four actually. This one definitely came out with a fair bit in the end. Uh, where'd we go? There. Fold it. Put those last of those screws in. So I'll put. I'll start with the big four. Do them up loosely, and go around again just to tighten them up. And no matter what you do here, people will say you're doing it wrong. So you get that. Find cross pattern, and then just go over and tighten up from there. Tight, 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 tight. Next up is the three down here. One, now having a magnetized screwdriver will help with this section. This one that I'm using right now is not. And 
three. And next up, these two up here. Which I will change screwdrivers, purely for the magnetic screwdriver. So this is going to a triple zero screw. That's one GPU firmly cleaned up. Next up, I'll just give it a bit of a touch up here, give it a spray and a wipe, and it should come up looking pretty all right from there.